What do you know about the Dornkrug hitter? Um, I do know that he served eight years of his 10-year sentence, was released early for good behavior, and since was arrested twice after that for drunk driving. And um, I did receive a letter beginning of December that he would be getting out soon. He, I'm sure he's out now. So he served eight years and then got arrested again? Twice after that. Twice. Do you have any feelings about that specifically? Um, I remember sitting at the sentencing and his counselor told him we should feel sorry for him because when he was little, um, he was given a choice to either deal drugs or steal, so he chose the better of the two to deal drugs, um, which led him through his whole course of his life and how he was, so we, we should feel sorry for him. Um, I don't feel sorry for him. I know he knew exactly what he was doing when he hit Jessica. Um, but I, I don't spend all my waking hours wondering what he's doing because it doesn't matter, you know. Things happen for a reason and I always think he'll, he'll get what he deserves in the end. How drunk was he? I don't think it ever was discussed. It never went to trial. Um, because they did tell us we were better off settling out of court than having it go to trial. Um, we know he was drunk when he hit her and he fled the scene of the accident. And when he went home, he started drinking alcohol straight out of the bottle because he knew he was going to get caught. And it was a matter of him saying, well, I wasn't drunk when I hit her. It's when I got home and had the drinks. Did he, um, did he had a prior? He was actually out on a bail bond when he hit Jessica for being Wassa's biggest drug dealer at the time. He was out on a bail bond for having 10.7 pounds of marijuana and six employees 